are inside the commissary. What's your all specialty? Is it the cheeseburger? What's your all specialty? Burgers. Burgers, that's good. I'm going to have one in a minute. It's going to be a little bit. River Place on the Clinch. <clears throat> this is inside their store, rental, outside now. They have cabins very close by. I'm not exactly sure where. I haven't been there yet. Canoe rentals. Raft and canoe. Imagine tubes would be fine. I actually started the video before I turned the camera on, so I'll probably go back and show you the outside front first. Uh, move it back to the front. This is an old bridge that crosses the clinch, and they've got the newer bridge on the other side. So Jane, that's much like your bridges in Arkansas there. And Cheryl, that's much like the Tallahassee, Tallahatchie Bridge that Billy Joe jumped off of, maybe. I don't know. We've got outside deck downstairs. Full service kitchen. We've got live music on the weekends. Knew that. I'm getting ready, hopefully, to take a fellowship with Appalachian Voices, which I think is one of the big advertisers for this area. I think they're going to hire me. I hope they do. I'll know by the end of next week, I guess. I'm going to walk around. I'll go down. You say Jeff is down probably. Okay, I'll walk down there then. Thank you. Here's the outside front. Bait shack. They've got upstairs and downstairs. And again, this is Highway 33, Clinch River. Colonel David B. Snodgrass New Bridge. This goes to Rogersville. That goes on up to where we will go, actually, but we'll probably go on the road across the river. That would be the Horton... Uh, oh, what is it? Horton Ford Road, I guess. This road is probably a little better. It goes on up to the Enoch Payne House, 12 miles from here where the Payne family originally settled, right on up the river here, back in the late 1700s. That goes to Jonesville. I just came up from Sneedville on 33, and that's 70 that runs on to Jonesville.
We're going to see if we can find the owner operator, or at least the operator. I'm not sure he's the owner. We're going to go down and see what's behind the building. The cabins, they have, I think it was five air conditioned cabins. Sleep up to six or more. I don't know. They've got a guest house that sleeps 20 to 24. And then they've got a primitive cabin, other than the one that I just stopped at. It's not connected with this, but it's about four miles, three or four miles down the road. About August, the cicadas are loud, especially at night in our backyard, all the trees. There's the back of the cafe. Let area keep out. This may be War Creek, I don't know. Of course, my Levesey family are right here. I've mentioned War Creek. I think War Creek's on up. This is Buffalo Creek, I think, or something. But this is Jeff over here. More than likely. I'm going to cut it off. 